Good morning to everybody. It is a pleasure for me and my partners, Fernando Blayaro, Alberto Prats Galino, Andres Ramiñan de Miguel, and Juan Antonio Juanes Mendez to present our work, 3D printing model of the orbit and visual pathway, applications in medical training and clinical practice. Let's start reminding what is 3D printing. 3D printing or innovative manufacturing, it's a group of innovative technologies where a three-dimensional object is formed by superimposing successive layers of material. It involves making up a real object from digital images, and it has many applications, from creating clothing and furniture to bioprocesses. In medicine, several studies began to evaluate the impact on academic results and also the students' evaluations. On clinical practice, its main application is in surgical planning, where experience plays a fundamental role. We choose this area of anatomy as many literal structures convert at the same place, and also because several medical and surgical specialties convert, such as ophthalmology, neurology, neurosurgery, or maxillofacial surgery. Now we're going to explain the process of creating a, a three-dimensional anatomical models. First of all, we need to obtain the images. In our study, we used a 1.5 Tesla scanner and the step to build the 3D model are, first of all, use imaging software that can process a biomedical data. Then you need to define the regions of interest that are going to be used as anatomical references. And then some grids are going to be used uh, also as references. Then you need to isolate each structure, segment the gray matter mark, and edit manually the regions of interest. For developing this finite point model, the same steps were followed, but we mainly use CT images as it is a bone. Now we're going to explain by detail the process of 3D printing. First of all, the DICOM images are extrapolated into different software. They are processes and manipulated generating the three-dimensional models that we have just explained. Subsequently, the 3D model is exported in STL format compatible with the 3D printer that we are going to use. In our case, the formula from 2SLA 3D printer model was used in the study. This is a high-quality and high-precision printer based on laser stereolithography technology and uses ultraviolet light to convert liquid resin into solids and trace the shape of its layer. Before printing, you have to use another software and then you obtain a very accurate 3D resin model. The resin after printing must be past processed to remove the support and cure each part to achieve the best mechanical properties of each resin. Finally, we obtain a three-dimensional model of the eyeball, extracting muscles and visual pathway from the serrated sections of magnetic resonance images and of the sphenoid bone using computerized tomography images and anatom as an anatomical reference for the nerves that connect the extracting muscles of the eye. In our prototype, we can distinguish the eye with two spheres, a smaller one anteriorly, the cornea, and the sclera, which constitutes the largest sphere posteriorly. The optic nerve starts from the optic disc, acts on extending from the disc along the nerve through the orbit and through the optic canal in the sphenoid bone. As we can see in the images, the orbital part of the optic nerve extends from the back of the eye to the optic canal of the sphenoid sinus at the apex of the orbit. Here, it has its slight shaped curve, allowing it to perform a full range of eye movements without stretching the nerves. As the optic nerve approaches the orbital apex, it is surrounded by the tendon ring, the origin of the rectus muscles. We can find four rectus muscles, the inferior, superior, median, and lateral, and also two oblique muscles, superior and inferior, and the six of them conform the extraocular muscles. Then the optic nerve exits the cranial line of the optic canal and enters the chiasm. The optic tract follows this area and surrounds the cerebral peduncle. Each optic tract divides into a larger lateral root, which terminates behind the, la behind the lateral geniculate body and the axon terminates in the visual cortex striate. Principally, the area 17, which constitutes the primary visual cortex. 
And finally, to sum up, we want to highlight that 3D printing is a technology that has been boosted in recent years, that the low cost, speed and reliability of the products are some of the reasons why this technology is growing up. Regarding the study of anatomy, we want to highlight the role of 3D printed models as a complement to the tra traditional methods and that in the clinical practice of medicine, these models are mainly used for surgical practice. Thank you very much.